I deserve the best and I accept the best now. If you want this affirmation to be true for you, then you do not want to believe any of the following statements. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money is filthy and dirty. I am poor but clean or good. I don't want to have money and be stuck up. I will never get a good job. I will never make any money. Money goes out faster than it comes in. I'm always in debt. Poor people can never get out from under. My parents were poor and I will be poor. Artists have to struggle. Only people who cheat have money. Everyone else comes first. Oh, I couldn't charge that much. I don't deserve. I'm not good enough to make money. Never tell anyone what I have in the bank. Don't lend money. A penny saved is a penny earned. Save for a rainy day. A depression could come at any moment. I resent others having money. Money only comes from hard work. How many of these beliefs belong to you? Do you really think that believing any of them will bring you prosperity? It is old, limited thinking. Perhaps it was what your family believed about money, because family beliefs stay with us unless we consciously release them. Wherever it came from, it must leave your consciousness if you want to prosper. To me, True prosperity begins with feeling good about yourself. It is also the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it. It is never an amount of money. It is a state of mind. Prosperity or lack of it is an outer expression of the ideas in your head. Deserving. If we do not accept the idea that we deserve to prosper, then even when abundance falls in our laps, we will refuse it somehow. Look at this example. A student in one of my classes was working to increase his prosperity. He came to class one night so excited for he had just won $500. And he kept saying, I don't believe it. I never win anything. I don't believe it. We knew it was a reflection of his changing consciousness. He still felt he really didn't deserve it. And next week, he could not come to class as he had broken his leg, and the doctor bills came to $500. He had been frightened to move forward in a new prosperous direction and felt undeserving, so he punished himself in this way. Whatever we concentrate on increases, so don't concentrate on your bills. If you concentrate on lack and debt, then you will create more lack and debt. 